good afternoon to everybody so we are uh, discussing how to develop a program how to write our own way to write programs according to the user input and the output so i will give the user input and output based on the user input and output uh, how to develop the programs we are discussing in last class we discussed uh, So this is my problem statement I given. So based on the problem statement, uh, so this is my problem statement. Based on the problem statement, uh, so this is uh, my. So problem statement I am given. So an organization, we have the organization, ABC organization. So this organization wants to calculate the salaries for the employees. So in order to calculate the salaries in your whole way, you have to write a program. First of all, you have to understand. So what is the problem statement? How to write the program? What is the problem statement? So this is my problem statement. So you thoroughly read this problem statement input and output also. You thoroughly read the problem statements. First of all, if you have to thoroughly read. Then after uh, reading the problem, so you once you can understand the problem clearly. So what is the problem? Calculate the salaries of the employees. This is my problem. Calculate the salaries of the employees. How to calculate the salaries? So then you have to raise a question. How to calculate the salaries? This is the problem statement. Calculate the salaries of an employee. This is my problem statement. So, so a problem you have to note down. Yes, calculate salaries of an employee. Then there may be, then you get the question, one question, you have to raise one question. How to calculate the salaries? Salary is calculated. This is the procedure to calculate the salary. Yes. How to calculate the salary? <laughs> this is the question. This is the, this formula they are given. So what is the salary, salary equal to basic plus the DA plus HRA or so they will give some word salary is calculated by summing of uh, a basic DA and HRA. So instead of writing, instead of giving this formula, they will, uh, they will give so salary is calculated by summing of basic DA and HRA like this. Okay. So then what is the input? This is the input, basic and experience. The first line indicates the basic and second line indicates the HRE, uh, sorry, experience. So uh, who you, how we can calculate the DA? DA is calculated based on this formula. So DA is common for all? No. So when, if, when there is no common for all, if there is a common for all, no need to write any selection statement. So if it is differ from one person to another person, then you must write, you must, uh, write a selection statement. You must put selection statement. So we know that uh, if it is a selection statement, uh, so then what is the selection statement? Uh, so this is the, my, this is the, if it is a selection statement. So this is the theory part they're given. What is the part? Uh, so if it is if the sad basic is uh, 5,000, less than 5,000, 75%, uh, 5,000, 1 to 9,000, 90%, 90, 15,000, 120%. Uh, so if more than 150% or 15,000, 130%, this is. 
So then you have to, so this is the percentage. For this percent, you have to calculate one mathematical formula. Nobody will give, tell you the formulas. You have to develop your own, you have to develop the formulas yourself. 75 percent, 0 0.75, are you right? Or 75 by 100, as you wish. So then, uh, so what is the formulas? Then, so we have the formulas. For this, we have to write the, some formula. For uh, DA calculation. So, 1 to uh, 0 to 5,000. So, what is the formula? DA equal to, so basic into, so what is the... 75 percent. So actually 75 percent means 75 by 100. You have to write the 75 by 100 or 0 0.75. 75 percent. 75 percent means uh, 75 like this. Then 5001 to 9000. Then what is the formula? The A equal to basic into basic into so what is the percentage? Ninety percent, zero point nine. You have to write your own way. Nobody will tell you. Nine thousand one two. 15,000 DA equal to basic uh, into so what is the formula 120 by 120 percent 120 percent means uh, 120 by 100 120 by 100 means uh, 1.2 greater than 15,000 basic into yes, yes, very good. Ah, yes, this is the way, right? Yes, B input, input, as you written in Python. Yes, actually, no need of a lower limit. So, what you written is correct, but uh, sometimes you will get uh, mistake because of, mis not mistake, actually, so time limit exceeds because uh, so you are given uh, lower value and upper value. So once the condition is failed, automatically so <coughs> once the condition is failed, then automatically that value is exceeds. Again, no need to write that value. That's enough. The remaining is complete. So that means you have to write the program in uh, so optimal way also because uh, so you will get the time limit exceeds problem. So if uh, writing the unnecessary statements or unnecessary conditions, uh, you will get the uh, time limit exceeds problem. Remaining is same. So whatever you written, so that is correct, no problem. So but uh, here, so actually, so if it is basic is less than 5,000, it's enough. If basic is less than 5,000, this is the formula. So don't put this, this mistake. So I already told you. So in uh, first class, 75 by 100, will get zero answer. If you run this program, you will get zero. So that is the mistake. So first of all, uh, the the expression with the, what you written here is, uh, the expression within the parenthesis is evaluated first. 75 by 100, what is the quotient? You will get zero. Zero and anything, zero. That is the mistake. So remain, so don't put unnecessary brackets. I already explained in, uh, so in expression, uh, in operators, whenever I'm teaching in operators, I already told you. So don't put unnecessary brackets. If you put unnecessary brackets, uh, you will get the mistakes. So this is the way. Then HRA. So, what is the formula for HRA? So, so 
So what is the formulas for HRA calculation? So we have some formulas. Uh, so experience uh, zero to five. Zero to five. So zero to five experience uh, HRA is uh, zero to five experience uh, HRA is twenty percent of the basic. So so basic uh, into twenty percent zero point two. So we have six to ten. 30% HRA is basic into 30% 0 0.3 15 11 to 15 HRA equal to basic into so what is 20 30 35 percent 0 0.35 so 16 to 16 to 25 it carry is 45 percent Zero point four five. Otherwise, the charge equal to basic into so then what is the thirty five part five fifty fifty percent zero point five. So like this, you how to first of all you have to write the formulas. Once you can write the formulas your own way, then so you will get the values. So, so 5000. So, first limit is uh, up to 5000. Second limit is up to 5000 is the first limit. Out what is the value? 75%. Then 9000 is second limit. Then formula is. Uh, 90 percent 15,000 is third limit 120 percent more than 15 130 percent similarly experience five years 0 0.2 up to 10 years 0 0.3 up to 15 years 0 0.35 up to 25 0 0.45 otherwise 0 0.5 so this is the formulas we have first of all you have to write your formulas you are born once you can develop the formulas uh, then we can write the program so how to write the program i will go for uh, c language actor and i will write the program also so i will show some programs and i will give some more examples uh, you can practice that example in your program I will write the, this program. So after writing this program, I will give one problem statement to you. So based on uh, so your electricity. So you have to take an example of uh, your house dom your dom uh, current bill. So you have to take the so this is uh, my problem. After that, you have, everybody will get the current bill. So you have to write one program how to calculate the current bill. So I will explain that problem also. I request students see how to first of all how to understand the problem that is very important and note down the problem so in a paper once you can understand the problem you can write the program very easily otherwise you cannot write 
so whatever if it is maximum time you take uh, understanding the problem if you take half an hour 20 minutes 30 minutes or depends once you can understand the problem so you can write the programs very easily no problem so there is no problem once you can understand uh, once you can uh, develop a program in one language you can develop the programs in any other language very easily no problems so if you know the c language uh, so you can write the programs in python very easily because python is very easy programming compared to other so hash include stdio.h for all, whenever you are using online compilers no need to write ponio.h but here i am using turbo c that's why i am writing the ponio.h so during the online compilers no need to write don't write no need not don't write conio.h because not required so here i am using the turbo c compiler that's way i am using hash include conio.h i am using turbo c that's way i am writing the conio.h while in the case of online compilers no need no not no need so don't write void me so int basic comma experience float salary so what is the input so what is the input so the we have the two line input one is one is uh, so actually so print enter basic and the actually i am not given in input so the, we have the two line input one is uh, basic and da that's way so directly i am writing scanf scanf percentage d percentage d comma ampersand of basic comma ampersand of experience actually so don't write print of the uh, enter base the basic and da because in input i am not given like that based on the input format you have to write if i if i given the format you can write so in the input format i am not written like this uh, so uh, enter basic and da enter basic and experience i am not given so that's why you don't write if i given the info in format uh, then only you have to write Final year students, final year or third year students must know the format. You know what is the input format, what is the output format, what they are asked. So, so, so based on that, you have to write the input. So, what is the output? So, based on the output, you have to print the output. Once the given, then you have to calculate DA and HRA. Actually, we required so comma DA HRA. We required. If uh, basic less than or equal to five thousand, first one, yes. If basic is less than five thousand, da equal to basic into zero point seven five. So seventy five percent. Else, so what is the meaning of else? So basic is greater than. 5000 that's why don't write again uh, basic is greater than 5000 and less than so and so it's so just enough else if basic is less than or equal to 9000 so don't write uh, greater than 5000 and less than or equal to 9000 so the greater than says if else means what is the meaning of else so it's greater than 5000 that's why they again no need to write unnecessary conditions is not required then da equal to basic into 90 percent else if basic less than or equal to 15,000 da equal to basic into da equal to 
basic thing to 120 percent 120 means 1 point else d a equal to basic into 130 percent so one point so this is the statement so uh, this is the uh, condition this is the way to write the calculation of for da once the da is calculated then go for hra so hra is calculated based on experience what are the experience we have based on the experience hra is calculated how to calculate the hra if experience less than or equal to 5000 so I already told so greater than 9000 and less than or equal 15 greater than 5000 is excess condition so whenever you, if you write such a conditions sometimes you will get uh, so time limits exceeds uh, so uh, such a problem will be arisen because unnecessary co writing the code that's it so if experience less than or equal to 5000 if experience less than or equal to 5000 hra is 20 percent so hra equal to basic into 20 percent 0 0.2 else if experience less than or equal to 10,000 10, 10 years and greater than 5 and less than 10 hra equal to basic into 0 0.3 that else if experience less than or equal to 15000 Less than or equal to 15,000, HRA equal to basic into 0 0.35. Else, if it experience less than or equal to 25, HRA equal to basic into basic into 45 0 0.45 else hra equal to basic into 0 0.5 this is, so this is the calculation of uh, experience uh, hra that is the calculation of d once both are calculated then you have to calculate salary salary equal to basic plus da plus hre then you have to print the print percentage point two f comma salary
topic name I will put otherwise no need so we have the right uh, basic and experience suppose uh, 6700 first line second line is 12 years of experience uh, so we have the 15,075 so this is the way to calculate the basic and uh, HRA so you have to calculate them so based on that we will get the value so 15,075 so like this we can develop so this is the way what is the input i am given output suppose i want only integers you have to make round percentage uh, d you put it as a percentage d round uh, so i will uh, make a type conversion of uh, comma i will put the type conversion Six thousand seven hundred twelve years. So this is the you see the difference. So uh, suppose I want only integers, I will get the integer value. So I want floating point values, I will get the floating point values. Now. So I given a type casting. So like this, we can develop the programs uh, in Turbo C. Students given some. Sir, output salary is, uh, sir, output salary 12,000, so you check the calculation, so based on that calculation I am given, so actually formulas, what are the formulas we are written, that is uh, actually I feel that is correct, uh, 6,790% is the formula and uh, 12 years is the 35 percent is the formula so you have to once again you have to calculate them so whether it is correct or not so like this we can develop actually so you so i will go for calculator otherwise i will go for calculator Six thousand seven hundred. my basic into so 90 percent 0 0.9 so 60 30 60 30 ah, okay ah, you did mistake no problem yes so this is the way actually this is the wrong output actually 15,000 is 75 is the current output sir yes so if you if you want uh, like this suppose you want suppose 0 0.20 you put the percentage 0.2 if you are not put percentage 0.2 f you will get the six digit accuracy when you get the six digit accuracy then there is a problem again so you see the problem so this is so this is the my pro my statement so if it is if you want integer value i put type conversion integer actually sal salary is a floating point value but uh, so there in the output they ask them so i want integer value so that's why i, I written type conversion integer suppose uh, if you are not right integers uh, if you put the right round also mistake you will get the floating point value again it is a mistake so you must convert the floating point value to integer. So that's why so I written type conversion integer value. Suppose I suppose if you want floating point value, suppose I'll give like this a percentage F. Yes. So you will get the six digit question. You see the 15,075 after decimal point we will get the six digit accuracy six discretion but but i mean my output i ask them only two digit accuracy suppose i want 15075.00 don't want six digits 
So six digit accuracy. I want two digit accuracy enough, or one digit accuracy is enough. So in this case, so so you have to write the format specification percentage F. So you have to point to F. Percentage point to F. So if I write like this, percentage point to F, we'll get the answer. So two digit accuracy. Two digit. So do you find that? I think you find the difference. Percentage F, percentage point to F. While in the if you write the percentage F, you will get the six digit accuracy. But in my in my output, I I written point zero zero. So then there is a mistake. If I write, if you got the output like this, so fifteen thousand seventy five dot five six zeros. But I given fifteen thousand point two zero two zeros. Uh, then so again the system will show wrong answer. Well, you are getting the correct answer. But the system will show wrong answer. Suppose I am given integer. Suppose I want integer values. So you have to make type conversion integers. So I already told uh, during the explanation of operators. Sometimes it's necessary to convert integers to floating points, floating points to integers. So so actually we have the two line input. That's why I written like this. So it depends upon the problem. Depends upon the format of the input. Depends upon the format of the output. We have to develop the programs. Actually, prompt is not necessary for online examinations. While you are writing the programs in classes, we can write the prompt. Actually, so this we called as prompt. Print up. Slash and enter basic. And experience. This we call as a prompt. So for online examinations, no need to write the prompt. So this because uh, they will not ask the during the format. That's why no need to write the prompt for uh, uh, exam. No need to write for online examinations while you, while you are using the your classroom exercises. Uh, so you have to write the prompt. In this case, we write. Similarly, salary. So no need of writing. Actually, while in, while we are using the classroom exercises. Uh, so we will explain with prompt actually. While you are writing the online examinations, online examination for exclusively for third year students. So you are writing the online examinations for online examinations. No need to write the prompt because so while the input format cannot contains any format, any prompt output cannot contains any form any prompt. That's why no need to write the prompts. So actually here as that's why I explain the different styles. So two digit expression, six digit expression. So default is six digits. So how to convert two digits? Suppose I want integers. How to convert an integer value? So like this, uh, we can uh, develop the for programming. So this is the way to write the programs. So so if you, if you get the so actually if you are not get the correct answers at any time, so you have to check it. Suppose you are not getting the correct correct value. Suppose if the value is fifteen thousand seventy five, but I got the sixteen thousand one thousand, sixteen thousand one hundred, then you have to calculate manually. Print both the D A and H R A individually so that uh, so you will get the correct answer. So uh, sometimes you cannot get the correct answer. You feel that it's a correct, but uh, while in the case of system point of view, it's a wrong. In such a case, you have to print, you have to write the, you have to print the values in in between and check them correct whether whether I am getting the correct value or not. Once you are getting the correct values, then remove the those lines. That's enough. 
so that is the way to develop this is the way to develop the programming so so this is the process so actually no need to by heart at any at any cost so it is a 35 lines of program or it is an under lines of program any lines of program no problem so don't by heart them so once you can write you can uh, understand the problems once you can understand you can uh, do the problems so this is the way to write the programs so tomorrow i'll go for uh, one more example so how to write that. so python class at uh, five o'clock same id same id so you daily use this id and password so that i won't send again 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 and again so use this id and password daily for all crt classes ये तो मंदिर वाला ना